it's Tanya and I'm here with something slightly different. I am taking the workshop that Rick Langreff recently put up. It's called Scrap Art and I'll leave a link below in case you're interested. Basically what she's done is she's taken art journaling and scrapbooking and fused the two together and it's just so much fun. You did miss out a bit there. My video got corrupted, so what else is new? But essentially all I did was I took the back sheet of a couple of the Vicky Booten watercolor sticker uh, sheets that we got in one of one of the April kits and I had colored them and made a layout from it. And so I decided to to try out what I'm learning in a rates class and so I just cut it up and stuck it down there I mean and put some words down as well so there nothing nothing too spectacular there you can see what it is and now I'm taking the Vicky Booten crayons and I'm just kind of color blocking in a way I started with the yellow in the middle because it's a diagonal design that I've got going on there which is kind of obvious because you can see it and I'm just taking the various colors and doing you know the whole what scrolling it on a, a plastic sheeting and then adding water kind of like making it a watercolor and then just painting it on the page and yeah it's I love the idea I love the concept of of scrap art I think it's fantastic I just need to learn a bit more because I never seem to get those beautiful colors that Eric gets probably because I wasn't starting with you know those pinks and teals and blues that she uses I was going with the oranges and the yellows but there's nothing wrong with orange and yellow it just it's it's just a different color scheme a different color palette there we go using the lingo and it looks a bit streaky in the end I don't know I don't know if I'm so in love with the texture of it well not texture but the way it looks I don't know I, my art journey is in its infancy, teeny tiny tottering baby steps and uh, I win some and I lose some. <laughs> but this one I'm kind of going as a win. I, I will take it as a win. It doesn't look too bad in the end. So I've got that and then I took these Acritones. We got them in a colour add-on in one of the hip kits from a couple of months ago and I am now deciding to put some white on because, you know, in my mind when you're art journaling you kind of have layers and layers of things so the more stuff you throw on the page the better it is at least at least that's what people seem to do so this is what I'm doing and I'm using I think it's a oh gosh can't remember which one I think it's a Diane Reevely silicone brush yeah I'm not so not so sure about that either <laughs> it's extraordinarily difficult to paint with <laughs> But I will have to get used to it. And now I took, we got, there's a pink Acritones paint as well. These are matte paints, so they're supposed to be a lot easier to write on after you've painted them on. So I got some of the pink and then I added some of the pink to the white. And I did kind of streaks on there with the pink and then didn't like that. So now I'm kind of trying to blend it all together. It's, uh, well, you know how it goes. <laughs> The whole idea of this page is I'm practicing for now. This is my practice journal, art journal. It's a Diane Reevely one, the large one. I was showing you, but you can't see my hands. <laughs> so I'm kind of, oh, there you see, throwing some more on. <laughs> now that's green. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm practicing a couple of spreads in here based off of the class to see how it goes, because you know how it is. You've got this beautiful, big, blank journal. You think to yourself, oh, I want to fill it with pretty pages and magnificent stuff. And then you screw up the first page and then the second page is kind of a disaster. And then you kind of wish you never started. So, yeah, <laughs> so I'm doing practice once in this book. Then if I like the idea, which I do, then I can bring out the brand new one and and see if I can make a go of it. Because I like the idea of this kind of scrap art journaling instead of Project Live. I know, revolutionary. Probably not, I'm sure somebody's already doing this. But you know, there's everyday photos that don't warrant an entire 12 by 12 layout. And I don't do Project Live. I did, I started it and yada yada yada, told the story already and I just, I just, it's fallen by the wayside. But this, I mean, this could be a, a really cute way 
of taking everyday photos, you know, those you snap on your phone or you discover on your kid's phone, and just playing with paint and, and all other media and ending up with a spread. Okay, I will say that you kind of need to let your, well, you kind of need to use very flat elements. Otherwise, you're going to end up with this book, which is like massive, you know, really fat. But that, you know, that doesn't actually bother me. I kind of, I kind of like the idea of this big, chunky book. And you, you know, you flip through it and you think, oh yeah, I remember doing that. And then you marvel at your your backgrounds and, and you know, how well you've done. Wow, I'm like so far ahead of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've only like done three of these <laughs> but I just love this idea so what have I done <laughs> well, I've been waxing eloquent about my philosophy on how I want to do project life in, a, in an art journal I have got those little, three little photographs they were extra photographs I had lying around they're from a road trip that my daughter and a friend went on and I figured as I'm practicing I might as well use them and the blues complement the oranges very nicely and then I got out ah that's the other thing about this which I like the idea of when I get my new kits and I've still got leftovers of my old kits I can use them up this way and then A, I'm using them up, and B, I'm not feeling like I can't use them, you know, because I'm trying to hoard them or something. It's just a win-win situation. So yeah, so... Oh, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> I was telling you about the photos. Yeah, the fact that they were, you know, these random ones I had lying around. So, oh, and I do... I use my hot glue gun and glue everything down because that's the only way it'll stick to that background and it doesn't matter if it's not archival because really it's just a fun book and if one day when I'm 104 and I'm flipping through the pages I will once again marvel at not only my brilliant artwork but the photographs <laughs> hey I might get to 104 you never know <laughs> And if I still have my books, then oh, what a pleasure. So I brought in some of the washi tape, kind of topped and tailed it a bit. And I'm going to, oh, just draw around some of the circles, kind of highlighting them a bit. I did a little bit of, of, of what is it, scallop around that one. And I think I'm going to just title it a little bit. Do I? What am I doing now? Yes, there we go. Just giving it a title. This is still a work in progress, this whole idea of combining PL and, and art journaling and scrapbooking. So I'm just, you know, emphasizing some of those little circles. And I do believe I'm done. So please tell me what you think of this. If you like this idea, if you'd like to see more, because I'm kind of keen. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. And we'll chat again soon. Bye.